With the first notes of the evening, the Jazz at Lincoln Center Gala event, Body and Soul, America Rises Through the Arts, made its triumphant return to Frederick P. Rose Hall, a true convergence of musical brilliance. The JALC Orchestra, led by artistic director Wynton Marsalis, back after its pandemic hiatus. Well, it's been two years, so it's a long time since we've had the opportunity to open the House of Swing and have an event like this to celebrate the music. This year's gala, hosted by award-winning actors and husband and wife, Angela Bassett and Courtney P. Vance. An event not just to celebrate the arts, but to honor two of its biggest contributors. One of them, awarded the Center's Award for Artistic Excellence, Grammy Award-winning and Oscar-nominated musician and composer Terrence Blanchard. The award presented by director Spike Lee. Blanchard more than humbled by the award. I mean, it means a lot of me and Wynton have gone back. We grew up together. You know, I remember when we both went summer camp, you know, in elementary school, and to see everything that we've gone through over the years has been like an amazing achievement, an amazing thing to witness. So to get to this point, to be honored here, it's a true, it's a true blessing. You know, something that I don't take lightly. Also on hand for the evening, actor Wendell Pierce, jazz lover and New Orleans born. Jazz is the epitome of the American aesthetic. You know, to have form, but freedom, freedom within the form. The two can coexist and a democratic sort of shared experience. Jazz has always been the, 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 the bedrock of American society, I think. It always kind of represents the, the values of what a true democracy is supposed to be. We've always heard that, but we witness it when you see musicians on the bandstand sharing ideas. Time is taller now they're sending out the sun to take away our guns. One of those performing on the evening, the legendary Elvis Costello, who told PIX11 what a better way to herald our emergence from a trying period than with a celebration of music. I don't think it's ever, you know, ever been a better time to sing. You know, singing involves breathing in and out and feeling something and trying to tell a story. Also honored on the night, a man who has been instrumental in jazz at Lincoln Center story, Ford Foundation President Darren Walker, lauded by former First Lady Michelle Obama. I am thrilled to join you tonight to honor my friend, Darren Walker. Walker receiving the JALC's Ed Bradley Award for Leadership. Named after renowned journalist who was on the JALC's board for 15 years and hosted the Jazz at Lincoln Center radio show for 14. The award presented by his wife, Patricia Blanchett. You see, Ed loved jazz, but more importantly, he understood the power of this music as an agent of change. While it might seem axiomatic today, when we talk about jazz at Lincoln Center, it was a radical idea. Radical maybe, but so much a part of New York's musical landscape. Now for more on concerts, events, and programs at Jazz and Lincoln Center, you can just head over to their website, uh, jazz.org.